Hey Trinity UCC, welcome to Wednesday's Devotion. This is the devotion for July the 6th. And I'm so happy that you're joining us and I, I pray that you're having a blessed day. And as always, this devotion comes from In Touch Ministries. And the title of our devotion today is A God of Grace. A God of Grace. You see, God's graciousness is evident in his plan to save us through the sacrifice of his only son. Our scripture that ties into our devotion today is John 1, verses 14 through 18, which says to us today, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out saying, This is the one I spoke of, about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness we have received grace in the place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses, and grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son, who is himself God, and is the, in the closest relationship with the Father, has made him known the word of the Lord. Imagine with me receiving a beautifully wrapped gift when there's no special occasion. And inside this package is something very special. And eagerly you read the card to discover who could have been so generous. To your amazement, you learn that the giver is someone you have been unkind to and have even avoided what do you do this is the scenario is a picture of the father's grave grace in sending his son jesus to the earth there was no special occasion god was determined to save us despite the fact that we ignored and even rebelled against him. This is a grace. God's goodness extended to those who do not deserve it. And we have no way to ever earn it. We see the fullness of God's grace in his son. First, Jesus met the requirements of the divine law by living perfectly. Second, his sinless life allowed him to pay the cost for our rebellious ways. Third, Christ sacrificed his life on the cross to pay for our sins, sins, past, present, and even in the future. Fourth, God counts Jesus' death as a payment for every wrong we have done or will do. And fifth, Christ's righteousness becomes our own righteousness through faith. And that refers back to Romans 4, verse 5. So the question is, what will you do with God's kind gift of grace? Will you refuse it? Will you say thank you? And then will you take the steps to know him? Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your words today. We thank you for this devotion and a reminder of how much you love us. Even when we don't deserve it. We thank you for this gift of grace. We thank you for the love we thank you for the forgiveness. We thank you for not turning your back on us. 
even though we often do that to you. Help us to reflect on this throughout today and the rest of the week. In your Son's holy name we pray. Amen. Until next time, go in God's peace.